right, peeps, what's happening? I'm in Digny Fitness. My name is Darren Placid, all you don't know me. Right, so I'm here with someone who has taught over 2,100 classes for Digme Fitness. And has also, also, which breaks my heart actually, is the current holder of the Digme Fitness Music Awards. Chloe, what's happening? Hello. You all right? Uh, sh show them, show them everything. All right, let me show them. I'm gonna show them, that's it, that's it. Go on, lift it up. There you go. Oh, this is man. what he wants, but he's not getting it. Nah, anyway, you know what? <laughs> okay, so we are gonna touch on over 2,000 classes. We're gonna touch on the music awards. We're gonna touch on everything. So, guys, listen up. So, uh, yeah, Chloe, what's happening? How are you? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Yourself? I'm good, I'm good. Just done your class? Yeah, yeah. how are you feeling? Tired as usual. Did you uh, learn anything or two? Yeah, I learned. Oh, I'm always learning. I'm always learning. I'm always shazamming at the back. Yeah, I saw. I'm always shazamming at the back. I'm always like, hold on a minute. One second, Beats. One second. That's it. That's it. <laughs> right. I don't to do it, exactly. Exactly. There's only so many songs out there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you've got, I mean, I do claim them. I don't want them in my class. But anyway. Actually, I give credit all the time. I, got, I do. I'm lying. Yeah, it's, yeah, a yeah, 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 it's a bad job. It's a bad job. Alright, anyway. Sure. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Alright, so. 2,000 classes, over 2,000 classes, yeah. Digny Fitness Music Awards, you know, it's been, it's been one hell of a year, but we'll, go, we'll touch on that in a bit. Um, tell us your story, tell us about your, kind of your fitness journey when you first started fitness, started in, working in fitness, to now. So I started as a personal trainer when I was 19. Um, I'm not going to ask how old you are now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask how old you are now. Um, so I started as a personal trainer when I was 19, and I was doing a little bit of spinning to begin with. Like okay. I, I was teaching at one class a, a week and then I've moved around a couple of places. I've moved to Spain, to Switzerland, and sometimes my, uh, I've been teaching more classes, a little bit less personal training, but now I teach many classes and just do a little bit of personal training. Cool, oh, so you literally started when you were 19, so I know you're aging. Yeah. So it's a long time, it's a long, yeah, a long journey. Time. So, you know, tell us when you got your, like, you know, first serious, shall we say, first serious instructor's job um, within, like, a fitness studio. Um, what would you consider a studio? Uh, a stu uh, well, you know, I guess teaching more than four classes, five classes a week for a specific studio. Um, when I worked out in London, I opened up in Cheltenham. Okay. And then I was teaching there like four or five classes. Then I moved uh, to Switzerland and I was working for Home Space. Okay. They have, they still have Home Space. Home Space, I know. They, 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 I know. They, 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 they no longer exist here. We're going back. We're almost showing our age here. Almost, almost, almost. Um, <laughs> And then over there, I was teaching again about maybe four or five spin classes. Um, never, because personal training was my main kind of thing. That's what I enjoy one to oh, one. Okay. Um, but then I moved back to England, and Digby Fitness opened. I used to teach still for fitness first, a couple of classes here and there, yeah. and some times and a bit of spin. And then they offered me more and more classes. Now I'm, um, I'm 2,000 odd classes yeah, later. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll touch it. We'll go on to Digby Fitness. So, literally, Digby Fitness opened, what, three years? Is it over three, three years now? Three years. It will be, yeah, it will be four years in June. In June. Four years in June, right, okay, and you've pretty much been here from the start. I was here. Right, you was here from day, day one. one. So, yeah. From when it first started to now, you've seen it grow. Like, how have you? How how has your how has your journey been throughout throughout it as well? Um, it's been a, a good journey. I mean, obviously, when Digby first opened, there was only just one studio in Richmond, so I was only there two days a week teaching four classes a week. Wow. Um, and then Black Friday opened, and that's when I was kind of took on a lot more classes. Sorry, no, I lied. Sometimes I took on too much, I had to drop some because it was just taking the toll on my body. I've now learned that actually when you're on a spin bike, it's not your workout. People don't care whether you're pushing power. No. So you've just got to be the motivator, you've got to be clear with what you want to do if you don't actually physically have to do it. 
actually, um, a couple of months ago, I twisted my ankle quite badly. Yeah, funny enough. Oh, yeah. Funny enough, was I there? Oh, yeah, yeah I was with that. Because you're PT as well, yeah. all right, and you, and you teach 20 classes a week. So how do you manage your time? And how do you like mentally keep yourself stable? Because there's going to be some days when you're you're a bit down. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we will admit that. And then there's some days when you're on a high. Like, yeah. How do you still maintain that professionalism throughout? You've just got to sometimes you've got to relax. Sometimes you'll see me walk in here, and before people see me in front of house, I literally just be like, guys, I'm so tired, but. As soon as the door opens, you've got to have that energy and you can switch off from the class of day. But then to be honest, like, you see your regular people, you get the energy from the people and that yeah. kind of keeps you going. Mm. Um, but yes, yeah, sometimes you, you've, got to, you've got to be true to yourself and say enough is enough. No, I can't take on extra covers. Um, I've had some times where I've had to cancel clients uh, sometimes because it's been too much, I'm just too tired. Um, I've seen him in a nap here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, that's, that's it, that's it. Done. That's it, listen, my three-year-old son has a nap, so why can't we? That's exactly. what I'm saying, so that's it, man. I think so. everyone should have, should be entitled to nap Siesta. time. Siesta, yeah. I, I completely yeah, I, I'm agree. From, I'm from Spain, so siesta time is time. Don't get twisted, I'm trying to introduce it into the fire brigade, yeah. but you know, it's not <laughs> they're not, they're not. But, but you know, that's, that's another matter, I better not say too much on that. Anyway, but, um, but yeah, okay, so yeah, it's tough. Um, Another thing we're going to talk about, as I said, before we talk about that 2000, over 2000, is, uh, you know, you said about, you know, mental, mentally, sometimes you're not right, and, and sometimes when you get into a class, you know, you just have to kind of put on that act. You know, with, with these um, instructor ratings, or should we say class pass, all right? Now, we all know that as much as we try to avoid it, and we try not look at it, and look at our ratings, I try my best. The thing is, is sometimes for even for me, it, gets, it can be obsessive, and, and I know that I can get. I'll always ask if I get like a, a rating of like three, four, and I'm thinking, what is going on? What, what did I do? What did I really do wrong? How does it affect you? You've got to remember, you're not going to be everyone's team, right? So I'm allowed would be kind of person. Some people absolutely hate that. Yeah, that's actually and that's yeah. fair enough. <laughs> that's what I'm like as well. <laughs> a person that is here to have a serious ride, I'm saying that, you know, yeah. I don't like serious, no. but um, they don't like all the kind of, woo, with the show, mm. they, might, they might not like it all, they might not like your music, they just don't like your style of teaching, they think you're too happy, it happens, and you can't take that to heart. Mm. Um, I like reading ratings, not not because I try not to obsess about fan ratings, but it is hard. Yeah. You know, I've had times where I've read some ratings and I've had a really bad night's sleep because I keep thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you do learn certain things from it. Mm. Um, and I think for me, if I get like a, a three or a four, it kind of keeps you on your toes. I think now I want to yeah. do better, I want to do yeah. better. So, you know, everyone would like to have five, five star ratings all the time. Oh, but if you no. did that, I feel yeah, I think I think um, even I've learned I think in the short space of time that I've been like in like boutique fitness when it comes to class parts and things like that, I think that I've definitely definitely learned that. You can get you can be at the top of the hill at one time and all of a sudden you could be pretty much down there in a space of seconds. You know, and that's it. Can it. Also be with sometimes what's happening in your personal life. Like yeah. You're not you're not at the top of your game because certain things are happening and you can't help it. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and I completely agree. I completely agree. It's good to kind of keep you on your toes, but sometimes it's best to kind of step away from it as well. Yeah. So, okay, we'll keep on that. We'll keep on that topic. Just want one more. Um, right, your first ever rated. Do you remember your first ever rated? Uh, <laughs> I actually really don't. Or do you remember close to your first ever rated, or close to that that, that rated? Do you know what? Um, when did we first started? We didn't have access to ratings. Okay. Um, not saying that we still shouldn't have access to ratings. Mm. Um, I know you can log on to Class Pass and kind of read your name. That yeah, way. yeah. Um, Which I don't, I don't actually agree with. I don't, I don't know. I don't agree with. I do agree with, and I don't agree with. What do you mean? I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm still on the fence with it because I think there are times where you are like on a high and you think that you've just taught a great class and then. You go on class pass and then let someone just rate you not as great and that's yeah. it and then it kind of your morale does go down and it can go down. Right, it's one rate today, six rate so True. Um, what's one rating compared to those six? That's true. You've got to I know we always try and we focus on the negative but I've tried to kind of be more realistic and think, you know, okay, so you've had two bad ratings, but what's those two bad ratings compared to one good ratings? I think you've only got to worry if consistently mm. you've got bad ratings. That's true, that's true, that's true. Alright, well, we'll come off the ratings now. Yeah, who cares about ratings? Relax now, yeah. relax, that's it. Yeah. Alright, so that's it. 2000, over 2,100 classes. Mm -hmm. How on earth, for one, oh, for one company as well, yeah. for one company. How on earth do you stay motivated to do all of that? And, like, and, and, and yeah, how do you keep so consistent? I mean, I'm, I'm coming up to 100 classes for Dingle. Woohoo! Great. But you haven't been here that long. Exactly, I know. I've been there since September. But, but would I ever get to 2000? Blimey, you know what? That's I, Only God knows. That's it. But how do, you, yeah, how do you still do it? How do you just, you know, be so consistent? I just, I like it. I like teaching. And you, you get to know members and then they send you the song requests and then you give them a shout out. And I don't know, I don't know. Man. I, I just don't <laughs> no, know. No, 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 like that. sometimes the consistent early mornings and late evenings do get to you, but. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you stay motivated? How, does it, how do you. Is it, would you say the members, would you say when you come into a class? Because sometimes, like, you know, places like Morgate as well, it's, it's, you have to. I think, you, yeah, but you know, some places as well, you have to, like, motivate. Not even, I wouldn't even say specifically Morgate, but. Some classes, should we say, some early morning classes yeah. compared to the evening classes. Sometimes you have to motivate them a bit more. So how do you, you know, how does that keep you going as well? Right, so because I've been here for such a long time, I know that there's different crowds. Yeah. Long time you game, they're serious crowd. Mm. So I know that even though they might not sound as exciting, the yeah. exciting, sorry, they still, they come here for a hard ride. So yeah. I, I would say my lunchtime mortgage is probably the most serious I've ever had to. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, but also, you know, you, you, I, I know a lot of members, I know mm. many, many people, so. Well, over the years, you know, yeah, yeah of course, man, you know, two, of 2000, I think you, you definitely know the members anyway. And I, and I, and I do find that, do you find that, like, um, the Digby Fitness members, the crowd, instructors and that, do you find it's more of a family kind of feel to it? And yeah. would you say other studios? Other studios meaning not Digby? Not Digby, yeah. Do you know, I don't even know what the studios. No? Mm -hmm. Can you say that a bit louder? I actually, and I'm not even just saying this, <laughs> I don't really know other studios. Um, wow. I've never been to one where I've walked to the Barry's. I have, I just, when am I going to get the chance? I'm teaching here every lunch, that's true. every morning, and that's every true. evening, you know? That is true, that um, is true. That so, is true. I know that for my own, um, what's the word? To kind of... Own oh, personal perspective? No, for, to get better myself, I mm. should be going to rides, I should be going and seeing what's out there, so I can pick certain things that I like, mm. realise certain things that I don't like, from classes yeah. to make sure I don't do it. Yeah. It's very difficult. I, uh, I just don't have 
that's, that's, and, that's, and that's just the way it goes sometimes, man. As I said before, you literally, your, your week is flat, and that's the mad one. So, so there you go. Um, so, another thing as well, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh my god, it's, it's gone. Alright, it'll come back. I tell you what, right, we're going to go on to it. Right, so last year, end of the year, yeah. you won that trophy over there. Yeah. You can bring it in if you okay, want to. Okay, okay. Oh. Just go, just go. Uh, Here it is. Oh Lord, look, she's wrecking the place and everything. <laughs> oh my God. Right, so you won this trophy here, you're right here. That's it, yeah. the, the Digby Fitness Music Awards. Mm -hmm. So that obviously, that was, um, how many rounds was there? I think it was four rounds, wasn't there? Um, uh, you know, four weeks and four the weeks, final week. Yeah. yeah, four weeks and the final week, going to the final week. Uh, members had to vote. I to vote for the best playlist or the best playlist by the best by their instructor and Chloe ended up winning it. Uh, I am envious. <laughs> very envious people. Very envious. Don't but this year. I'll allow you I'll allow you to win it this year. I'll allow I'll me to win I'm, it. I'm stepping out of the competition. You're gonna vote for me then? I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm stepping out of the competition. She's stepping out of it, yeah. that's it. She's stepping I'm out. giving you a chance. She lied. She lied. <laughs> I'm too competitive. I am too competitive. Right, so yeah, you won it. Yeah. You know, how much is that? You know, how honoured did you feel winning it? I was very excited. Mm. Very excited. Um, yeah, I I wanted to have won it last year, and I did it. So I got it this year. But now I've won it. Just ticked it off. That's it. I've done it now. So that's why I'm giving this trophy. Oh, thanks. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's it. That's it, people. Don't forget to vote for me, man. Vote for you. Vote for me from today. Today until, until the end of the year. All right. No, that's good, man. Obviously, you know, congratulations to yourself. You know, you deserved it. You're all, you're all over the place, pretty much in every studio. So, you know, you're, you're, you're making people happy and smile and that. But I'm going to go. I'm going to kind of, you know, go off of this subject now. It's, I'll kind take of, it's, away. it's, break, it's breaking I'll my heart. I'll it's take breaking it away. my heart. So, so, so put it over there. That's it. Put it over yeah, there. Yeah. All right. All right, okay, so a bit of serious stuff. Um, you know, as oh, you know, on my YouTube channel, obviously I'm, I was um, always gonna touch on social media with, um, with instructors and stuff like that. Now, you know, social media from when we first started, fitness was non-existent, all right? Everything was word of mouth. Yeah. Now social media is right. Everyone's posting social media. Everyone's doing this. Everyone's doing that, you know, and uh, even including myself, you know what I mean? So, you know, I won't, I won't um, shy away from it. I mean, how do you feel? Has has social media um, affected affected you in a good way or in a bad way over the years? Um, I would definitely say that social media has affected me in bad ways. Okay. Because you know it's all fake. Yeah. Um, and if you're not in a good place in your life. Uh, which I don't know whether you know, like I have a struggle with depression and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but you see other people's lives and you check out their stories and it's all their best bits and you think, oh my god, this person is just this kind of life. Yeah. yeah. And it makes you feel the worst about yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, you see all these fitness people and you see people working out and teaching a hundred thousand classes. Yeah. And I'm like, how do they have the energy? How do they make it? And literally, where I've asked, I've, I've reached out and said, How do you do it? Because I can't. Like, I, I have sacrificed my own training to be able to teach classes. I'm trying to change that yeah. this year to get a little bit. I I think I'm probably the most happy I've ever been. Um, but yeah, so I think social media is a Big life, most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time. Not and you know all what? the time. And, and you know, I completely agree with you, you know, because even even I um, went through it as well. Uh, same thing, I, I suffered I suffered depression from it. Um, you know, kind of wanting what other people had. And did they really have it? Exactly. They didn't. Exactly. And that's the thing, and, and that was it. And I was I was like, I was even saying I was going home and my missus saw it and my, my son saw it, but you know, and it was affecting my family, it was affecting my family life. And um, and then there's one time she literally said it to me and she said, look at you, you're a firefighter, you're a fitness instructor, you've got your own place, whatever, this and this and that. You've got foundations, why are you looking at other people for? And, it, and it's hard, it, 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 it's hard. It, it, like, even on my story, like, I'm always posting lots of on my story. 
the other day I said I'm gonna meal prep, I'm meal prepping my McDonald's, right? You know, and, uh, and, and the reason being is because, you know, it wasn't a thing at no one, it's just the fact is, is that people seem to think that I live that kind of perfect life, that I, I, eat, I, I eat well, and that's it. I, I think don't. that's the fitness in the yeah. Everyone always says that. Yeah. I eat chocolate every day. I make sure I tell people I don't lie about it. I yeah. eat chocolate. I'm addicted to chocolate. Mm. But this, I don't. There's nothing wrong with that, but the thing is, is that I think, and exactly what you're going back to on social media, that would you say, I think over 50% of people will promote certain things that they're not even doing themselves. Yeah. And, and it, that is that is hard. I mean, I spoke to like, well, Andy McCauley the other day, and he was saying the same thing, you know, that um, people would turn around and say, you know, oh my God, I look, I look, I look massive and that. They look absolutely perfect. But, but I feel like they're attention seeking. Yeah. yeah. And that is it, yeah. I think also for, I am so happy I didn't grow up socially, I think mm. you know, for kids, teenagers, the, the validation they get from a like, I think it's just, just yeah, terrible. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. we all know that the less clothes uh, someone wears, the more likes you're going to get. Exactly. So people are posting exactly. you know, things, oh, oh, booty shot, yeah, it's mm. going to, why? What, who cares about? Mm. And exactly. The thing is, is that you know you and you know you go on your social media. You got mine. You know, there's no like half naked, literally twisting, whatever. Yeah. But you've been able to have a good, good journey. You know, collaborations with the likes of Sweaty Betty and people like that. Yeah. You know, what would you say to people that um, have put on their social media half naked photos and stuff like that to kind of try and get a little bit further? Controversial, I know, but you know. You know it is. Sometimes. Um, I don't want to say this, I, I don't know this person uh, personally yeah. at all. But all she does is yeah, 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 take pictures of her butt, yeah. right? She's got over a million followers. Oh, wow. And that's what she does, she just does yeah. it. And, and I think her form is, you know, she's sticking out her butt. And, that's, yeah. and I just think, why does this person have so many followers uh. for what reason? Yeah. Um, whereas people that are actually showing real things like how to exercise properly or how to make food, they're, they're not getting that. Mm. Exactly, exactly that, yeah, that's it. And I've seen so many people who are half naked, men and women, yeah, yeah, no. men and women, men and women, and, and try and get to where they got to. I know we all know that people need to make a living, we all know that um, people need to, you know, yeah, people need to go on a journey. But how, 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 how far are you going to go to sell yourself out to go you know, on a journey? The first thing about, about social media is, is Yeah, yeah, like the DVDs, DVDs, DVDs man. <laughs> the DVDs, yeah, yeah the exactly. workout DVDs, exactly. yeah. Or, or this diet that they want to follow. And people will buy it just because that person looks like they're doing yeah. it. It's probably because the trainer has made them do that. Yeah. It's nothing to do with their knowledge. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There you go. Well, what advice would you, you know, give to people coming into boutique fitness, fitness instructors? Obviously, Dignity Fitness have um, uh, acquired two other spaces, actually called another space, funny enough, um, and there've been auditions and that. So, what would, what advice would you give like the newer instructors coming in? Um, I would say be yourself. Don't try and be like anyone else. Make sure you have fun with it. Everyone is different. I always, when I, you know. When, when I first started it at Digby, it was quite serious. Yeah. You know, it was completely different to what I was used to. <laughs> um, and the choice of music that I, I had was very different to the music that I play yeah. now. And because, I, you know, because the piece of music that I play now is the music that you enjoy, I think when you're having fun, people will know it, and they can mm. see it, and they're going to have fun with you. Yeah. So just have fun, relax, and be yourself. Don't overcomplicate this. Chloe, yeah. I'm going to win the music awards next week this year. Maybe because I'm giving it to Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Thank you very much. Nice one. You're an absolute star. Do that.